going into DCAP, there was a lot of unknowns. Um, you have the videos and kind of the slides that came out, but still at the end of the day, you really don't know what you're going into. What the battalion commander assessment program does, it gives the people that select the battalion commanders a much deeper uh, look you know, beyond the subjective things that the board typically looks at. You are looking at personalities and a bunch of other things minus the biases that can uh, come from if you're just looking at a person to RB or just looking to see if they have a range of tab. And so it's more holistic. I feel like this program gives everybody a, more of a fair shape. Looking at the person as a whole and not just what they look like on paper. So I think I think that's good in getting the right officer in the right command. Want you to sleep well, well. Because of the way BCAP is structured, I've been able to really reflect as far as helping me understand how I should lead and where I can improve as a leader. If, if I get selected as a battalion commander, then I want to be the best as, that I can be. I can want to be the best leader for my soldiers. It's one of those things that when you go in commission, you guess your, your, your dream job or the ultimate goal is to, you know, you want to come in troops and the time to move makes a big deal. I want to take care of my soldiers. That's my driving factor is because my soldiers have told me to continue on, to stay on, to, to go as far as I can. I'll listen to them. What was challenging for me going through it is that there's a sense of anticipation, not quite knowing what all the assessments were going to be. And I think it gives us an honest assessment despite of how unprepared we may feel. It's common among all the participants. Cohort one has the exact same experience that cohort 20 had. I, I think we work really well as a team with the reaction course. We all very quickly identified strengths um, and weaknesses. Uh, even though one person was in charge, uh, we were able to just mesh and we were quite successful. I think the, the biggest challenge of uh, being in DCAP right now, and I, I would say is being able to focus just on the DCAP, stay in that moment, because a lot of us have jobs and we're very busy and there's other things you have going on. Here has been a little it's more conducive to being able to disconnect. The final panel was probably the best piece for me because it just really made me think all the way back uh, to the beginning of my career of where we've been, what we've done, what I've done. I think it's a fundamental shift and I think it's a shift in the right direction.